Hello everybody, welcome back to another abstract tutorial with me. Today we're gonna do crazy stuff. I'm gonna tape very random my canvas. I have a blue background, which is cool. And I'm just gonna put colors and have fun. If you are new to my channel, I love to load videos every week. I have been absent for a week and a half. I have been getting ready for my upcoming art exhibition. So, but I'm back and I'm trio to play around. So stick with me because it's gonna be fun. And again, I'm just rambling taping my canvas just to get different stuff I don't know what's gonna happen this is a working process I don't know we don't know we never know when we do abstracts so it's gonna be interesting I'm gonna start with Nice fishy orange look. I'm just making marks right now. I'm just playing around. And see where we go with this. All right. Just using random colors. I'm going to be using some paper and applying it on the canvas and see what happens. We don't know, right? I'm going to use a little bit of purple as well. I just have random paper here and I just gonna put it right in here just to make some texture honestly everything is just just creating layers and having fun no idea whatsoever just to see what comes from this okay more of this paper in here just to create more texture I'm going to use a little bit of gold in here. Go all the way down. Use a little bit of this yellow in here. Come this way. Okay, the paper is going to give me something cool to play with. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the yellow over here. And more of my orange. And what I like about having a blue background is because then I'm going to come and scratch with uh, my catalytics. And if I want to show the blue while I'm doing marks just like this it's pretty cool all right just creating things let's see what happens I'm just crushing and doing things and again, if you are new to my channel, guys, honestly, I love to experiment and share with you. I think um, I might just do some little ones in here. I'm going to use a little bit of my blue back again. I'm going to cover the size. Okay, and then I'm going to come. I'm going to make some marks now that the paint is wet. We're using both hands. 
my mixing orange over here. I love to use my hands a lot. I think um, makes me feel more connected to the painting. That's my cat in the background. <laughs> Say hello. Right on the cube, you see, you right on the cube. All right, so now I'm going to get right straight from my tube. I'm going to get a little bit of my magenta. Maybe it's just darkness, some areas here and there. It's just to keep a little bit more of body over here. And this is the first layer. I don't have any idea of what's going to be, but at least I'm playing around and I'm being free. Which I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to use my yellow. I'm going to use this just to create something cool. Again, just marking the canvas with everything I have, just to create cool effect. So I'm gonna get this all thing. I'm gonna tap it here and then probably here as well. And now that the paint is wet, I get to have different things, different marks. I think it's pretty cool. All right. Okay, let me just let me do some movements in here. And then here as well. More of my yellow. Let me just put some on here and then over here. And again, I don't have any color choice. I chose for a few colors over here. And because I know this is the first layer, I'm not thinking about anything. All right, so I'm just using a little bit, a few things here and there. Okay. I have that paper in here. We use a little bit more white to this area here. Okay, and I might do just like things like this, screen around because these are things that you know happens organically, which is nice. And it's a uh, pretty cool what I'm doing right now. I'm liking it. And then I'm just going to get the back of my pencil here. And just make some notes. I'm just going to put white here. After this layer is dry, I will come with um, probably more color, subtracting and adding more, maybe. But right now, I just gonna let it dry and then we're gonna continue. But I wanna show you what it looks like now when I remove the tapes. So we have that blue lines in the background, I think it's pretty fun. Add more texture to this. Okay. And I am using those tissue papers that you use. Uh, I'm not choosing where I want to put the paper either. I'm just rumbling, applying them in here. 
without thinking too much. My other ones in here as well. Okay, just to create some cool effects. Right now, you might not see it, but you're definitely going to see it later. When it's all dry, and I'm just shrinking it and getting some cool effects. So once this is dry, so now I just want to Cut the paper like this. I'm gonna wet where I wanna put it. I'm gonna put it right here, just all crumble like this. And I'm gonna let it dry. This for sure needs to get dry, otherwise nothing is gonna happen. And then I'm gonna move the paint, the paper around, so I don't wanna do that. Okay, let's do some more water. Okay, I'll find the paper right here. Okay. Because once this is dry, it's gonna look super cool. It's gonna give me a lot of different body. Okay, I'm gonna put one more up here where I have my blue lines and if you straighten it and just see it breaks very easily but I don't mind because after this is dry I'm gonna use my gel medium and I'm gonna do a few uh, brushes just to glue it pretty much Now we have to uh, let it dry, all right? All right, so now that it's nice and dry, I'm gonna apply all the colors. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me more layers. And what I'm looking for is trying to create a composition But I will have those background of my scratches from my first, from the first layer. All right, right. I'm going to apply a press here. Maybe it will come. Over here as well with my blue. I'm gonna just do some scratches right in here. Okay, I'm just creating something. I know that I made this tape things but not so fun it's just interrupting too much of the composition that I'm looking for right I might cover up a little bit of this orange up here not too much but hiding a little bit more and I'm gonna do some line across here with my red. I'm gonna come with my red. I'm gonna do nice and heavy strokes with my palette. Okay, 
turn this way. And then maybe down this way. Okay. And coming all across here. Gonna get some of my white. More on out here just to cover this up. More of that yellow here. I come all the way out here. Get some of my white here, and I'm just gonna apply it on areas that. I think it will give me that composition that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna lay this over here a bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna do the same over here. The palette, and I just Throwing things all around. It's my white. Just get some sharp edges. Here, maybe a little bit more up here. Alright, so that's good. So while doing this, what's happening is I removing and seeing through what I have under. All right. The layers that I create under will show through. my strokes over here with this color like an ochre yellow the same thing over here I am just gonna do a little bit more that yellow come up this way okay, we are going over here and then I just applied my white with my brush and just let it drip. Okay, and we do the same there. I'm gonna just put in a little bit of it here. I'm gonna show that I have that blue here showing a little bit more. Okay. Same here. Let me just move things around here. Let me just keep that blue down there. And I'm gonna do just the line and stop right there. I'm gonna do the same thing here all the way. And I will do the same here because I want this the, the paint to show to show a lot. The same thing is my red. I want the red to show more. Okay. Just this way. Alright, I love it. That red coming down here. Let's just speculate right there. Alright, and we cover up. I think that's a pretty tail over here. Just giving the paint some movement. 
but it's not only like, you know, I think that looks awesome guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yes, I will see you in my next one. Let me give you a close up. So look at all the heavy strokes is amazing and you can still see through the first layer that we did and i love that it doesn't show too much but it's perfect i think this is a great piece and i love it very much to share with you and i will see you on my next adventure